been working with the University Art Gallery for about two years now and my focus has been on the Nicolas de Grand Maison Oral History Project. Uh, so with that we've been uh, trying to find information on the individuals in the portraits as well as the artists, so conducting interviews. holds one of the largest collections of works by the artist, including um, pastel portraits and archival material. And like Lethbridge is on traditional Blackfoot territory and all the individuals in the park portraits are Blackfoot. I tried to focus on what work has been done within the oral history project. Um, so that includes the interviews. Um, the artist did a few interviews um, in the 1950s, so the autograph recorder that he used is on display, and some of those interviews have been digitized and they're available to listen along with some of the interviews that I've done um, in an audio station. They really speak for themselves. You know, I think just the works could stand alone without any additional information. There's so much detail. And he was really able to capture like who these people were, their characteristics and that sort of thing. Um, he did have a strong appreciation for those he worked with. He got to know the families well. 